Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's D-Lloyd and welcome back to another episode of our New England Patriots Madden 24 Connected Franchise Series. It has been a while since we dropped a video, but I promise y'all, time has cleared up a little bit for me, man. So we're going to be getting these out way, way, way more frequently, man. But we left off here in an intense playoff race. Week 17, trying to somehow, somehow figure out how can we sneak into the playoffs. We are on top of the division as of now, but we have the Bills right behind us, and we have the Jets also right behind us. The Bills currently currently the five seed, so a loss here wouldn't necessarily eliminate us from the playoffs as we take on the Bills, but a win here will put us in a great spot to get into the playoffs with their, either as a division winner or as a wild card spot so we need to make sure we take care of business and get a win here in this primetime matchup here in buffalo so let's go ahead and jump straight into the gameplay we start off with the football first headed off to ezekiel elliott and right away zeke taking off for a gain of 13 yards next play handed off to ramondre stevenson and the the one-two punch with zeke and stevenson has been good but ramondre goes down there it is okay he will come back later on in the ball game here handed off to ezekiel elliott and he is inches short so third and inches go right back to the ground and zeke gets stuffed fourth and one we decide to punt it now here comes Buffalo taking over on offense. Right away, they want to find Stephon Diggs making that catch. Taking the inches. And the football all trying to bounce to the outside, then cut up the middle. And what a run right there by Damian Harris. That will be a first down. Second and nine. Dropping back, looking to the left, and that will be Stephon Diggs yet again. First and ten now. Play action. Quick throw. Looking for Stephon Diggs. Connecting with Stephon Diggs. So Josh Allen immediately finding his go-to receiver, and we got to do a better job trying to break it up right here. They look for Stephon Diggs again, and this time we do get the pass breakup. So fourth and 12, they have to settle for the field goal, which will be good off of the upright, but it is good. They take a 3 nothing lead, so we are back on offense, and we are trying to get things going. We're going to find Tyquan Thornton. That will be a first downhill here, a counter run. Ramondre Stevenson cutting up the middle. Nice ball carrier vision to find running room there. That is a first down for the Patriots. Here, hand off to Ezekiel Elliott. Get some room to run. Second and four. We get nothing on that. So now it is third and four. This is Jones looking to his left and he will miss Juju Smith-Schuster. So we will end up punting the football and here come the Bills yet again. Now, our punts, you notice where they're, they are starting deep into their own territory, but they are getting out of it really quickly. Find Stephon Diggs there here. Their other receiver, Gabe Davis. He makes that catch. That will be a first down for Buffalo. Third and 10. Another chance to get them off the field. Josh Allen rolling to his left and he will find Stephon Diggs taking a big hit, by the way, but he holds on to it. A couple plays later, second and 14. They were looking for Gabe Davis, but a great play by Christian Gonzalez, our rookie um, cornerback. Third and 14, looking down the middle of the field wide now, wide open, taking that one down to the five-yard line. Third and goal now, they will find Gabe Davis, touchdown Buffalo, and they take a 10 to nothing lead here in the second quarter. So we got to get something going. Right away, taking a shot down the field, it will fall incomplete, but there is a flag on the play, and it will be roughing. The passer. So we're taking that. We are absolutely taking that. Right here it is. Third and seven. A quick throw to Juju. Making that reception down now to the 35-yard line. Two plays later. Second and 10. Looking to the left. Trying to squeeze that one through. And we are able to do just that. Here, Zeke getting the carry. Zeke breaking out of a tackle. Zeke falling forward. Taking us inside of the 15-yard line. Second and 10 now. Mac Jones stepping up. And he fumbles the football. And Buffalo. We'll fall on it, man. So we had a good drive going, but it will end right there. And that will take us to halftime down 10 to nothing. So not the greatest half in the world. Hopefully we play better. But let's look around the league. We see Baltimore 21-3 on Miami. 12-3 and is the current record. And Lamar looking really good. Only one incomplete pass there in the first half. He has definitely showed up and shown out. Now going over to the Falcons at Chicago. And the Bears down in this one, 17 to 3, but they are 3 and 12. Chicago says, hey, man, we're going to have a decision to make. What do we want to do at quarterback spot? What do we want to do at the top of the draft? Because we're going to have a top pick. The Jets and the Browns. The Jets, we need them to lose, but they win the game against Cleveland. They go to 9 and 7. Browns 9 and 7. We just want that separation, man. But 
Aaron Rodgers able to get a dud and Dalvin Cook 70 yards on the ground there. So we need to make sure we win this game, but we are down 10. So we got to get things going. But Buffalo starts off with the football here in the third quarter. They get a nice completion, third and six. Can we get them off the field at early three and now? And we are able to do just that. I thought that was going to be a catch, but that will be a dropped Football. So now we are back on offense, and right away we're looking for the drag. We're going to find Mike Jacecki making that catch. Has room to run, gets a block down the field as well, and Jacecki gets out of bounds at about the 35-yard line. First and 10 now, driving back, looking down the field again. This time it's Tyquan Thornton, and Tyquan Thornton is getting inside of the 10-yard, the 15-yard line, but down goes Mac Jones. We do not want to see that. You do not want to see Mac Jones going out. That means Bailey Zappi is into the game. So right away, we want to get him some runs to get, you know, just some momentum going. That's a nice run there. Third and three. We hand it off again to Ezekiel Elliott. He gets stopped short. What do we do on fourth and one? Well, we're going for it. Hand it off to Ramondre Stevenson, and he is getting into the end zone for a touchdown. So the decision to go for it on fourth down definitely has paid off. And just like that. This is back to a three-point ball game. But here come the Bills. And look at all of that room to run. Taking that one down to almost midfield. First and 10. Josh Allen is in the zone. He's taking a shot down the field and almost threw an interception right there. He is lucky that, that was dropped. Third and 10. Another pass. And this time it is dropped by the wide receiver. That is Kincaid, the rookie tight end. Now coming down with it. So now we get the football again. Looking for Hunter Henry. Goes up, makes a catch, makes two defenders miss. And Hunter Henry taking off. Will he be caught? He will, but not until he gets to about the six-yard line. What a play right there. What a play. What a play. Here, third down, though. Can we take advantage? Bailey Zappi stepping up in the pocket. And Zappi sacrificing his body. He goes airborne with the dive. And he is able to cross the plane. Touchdown. And we are up 14 to 10. But here comes Buffalo. And Harris with room to run. Taking that one down to near midfield as well. And Buffalo staying in this game. Can we get a stop, though? Quick throw right here. That's going to be a completion. That will be a gain of six, second and four. What do they do? They're looking to throw the ball. It almost intercepted, but another dropped pick. So now third and four, quick throw, and this time another drop pass for Buffalo. That was Stephon Diggs. Now the kick is up here, and it is no good. Hit the upright twice. This time they do not get the lucky bounce. So we take over near midfield. Here's Bailey Zappi taking off running. He's going to get those few easy yards if he can, but we got to trust that he can make these throws, and he shows us he can right there. Finding Hunter Henry, great pass. The linebacker had his head turned, could not make a play on it. So now third and six again. Bailey Zappi, pressure coming, getting hit as he throws. Had a chance with Tyquan Thornton. He drops it, but here comes the kick, which is up, and it is good as Ryland is able to connect on that field goal. So we're up by a touchdown. We have a quarter of football left. And by the way, a nice completion. That will be a first down, in fact, for Buffalo. Two plays later, second down, handed off to Harris. Nice little run there. He will fall forward, making this an easier third and two. Well, they go ahead and hand the football off, and they easily get the first down and more crossing over midfield on that one. Next play, a quick little throw. That will be a completion there. It was first to five because we went off sides. So now first and ten for Buffalo. Has time again. Nobody's open. Why not step up and run? Because nobody is in the vicinity. Josh Allen gets a nice game, but Josh Allen goes down with the injury. Uh-oh. Is this big news for Buffalo? You see he's on the sideline still, so he may come back. But for right now, he's not in the game. So we'll see how Buffalo performs without Josh Allen. Right away, they hand the football off. There will be a face mask penalty, unfortunately. So, even though we got to stop, they will get an additional 15 yards. Now, second and six inside the 10-yard line. Look at the moves right there from Damian Harris. And that is going to take them down to the one-yard line. Third and inches to go to the ground again. And they are able to punch this one into the end zone for a touchdown. So, we are all tied up again. But we got to get something going, man. Six minutes to go in the ball game. Bailey Zappi looking to his left. He is going to find Kendrick Bourne making that reception. Micah Hyde got hurt on that play as well. Here, pressure is coming, but we do a good job picking it up. Zappi trying to just find time, and he is going to find his tight end for a first down. Second and six. Handed off to Ramon J. Stevenson, who falls forward, and surprisingly, they give us a first down there. Here, hand off to Stevenson again. There is a flag on the play, though, so is going to come back that will be a holding penalty so instead of second and six 
Second and 16, Bailey Zappi dropping back, trying to find somebody he cannot. He gets brought down for a sack. So with three minutes to go, third and 22, we need a miracle. So we draw up a deep shot, and we are going to connect with Devontae Parker. And that is going to be a touchdown. New England Patriots go up in this game. What a throw from Bailey Zappi coming off of the bench. And he is showing he can make some big time plays. But for Buffalo, Josh Allen is back in. And we know he could throw the football. And he is dotting us up right now. Two minutes to go in the ballgame. Now under two minutes to go in the ballgame. Matter of fact, third and five. This is going to be a completion. I thought that Miles Bryant was going to be close enough to deflect it. He could not. Second and nine. Allen, quick little throw again. That will be caught by Damian Harris. Third and five for Buffalo. Can we get them off the field? At least make them go for it on fourth. We cannot. What a move right there by Josh Allen, by the way. So now first and goal, looking to the left for Stephon Diggs. He's going to miss his target. 24 seconds to go in the ball game, lobbing it up on the right side of the field, and that is going to be a touchdown from Dalton Kincaid. So now we have 17 seconds in this ball game to get something done. Bailey Zappi just throwing it up, and Juju goes up and makes a catch. Juju Smith-Schuster, who has been our number one target all season long, makes a play there, and now a field goal, 48-yarder for the win with the ice. Let's see what happens. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Somehow, we come out of here with the victory, down 10 points in a game that we needed to win. We lose our quarterback in Mac Jones, and we're still able to gut out a win. Bailey Zappi showed up when we needed him the most. And technically, this does not clinch a playoff spot, but it puts us in a good position to either win the division or to get in as a wild card. So a very important game there. And we were able to somehow, some way, come up victorious, man. Bailey Zappi was 11 for 14. One touchdown, no pick. Mac Jones, before he went out, was 6 for 13 for 110. No touchdowns, no interceptions. But Bailey Zappi, man, played really, really well. Definitely shot by how well he played. And, man, sometimes it is important to have that backup quarterback role, man, especially in times like this. When you least expect it, you may need them. Ramondre Stevenson had 56 yards. Zeke had 40 yards on the ground. So our one-two punch, they did their thing, right? Ramondre Stevenson, only 3.7 yards to carry. But we're not going to, you know, we're not going to be too upset. Juju, six catches, 82 yards. He did good. Taekwon Thornton only had three, but they went for big gains. Hunter Henry going over the century mark. 103 receiving in that one. So he had a good game. And then Devontae Parker had that big 63-yard reception that ultimately put us in a position where we could at least go for the win. So um, looking at total tackles, Kyle Duggar led us in total tackles. That is kind of becoming a normal thing at this point. Jonathan Jones had a good game. Josh Uche had three TFLs, so he did his thing on that front. Matthew Judon had a sack. Then we had a couple of guys with a half a sack. So we had a good game, man. Devon Godshaw has an upgrade after this one, so we will go with the run stopper as our D-tackle in the 3-4. Just go ahead and stop the run, man. That's all we're really looking for, and he gets block shedding plus one. So... We will take that. We will definitely take that. Cole Strange, our left guard, one of our best offensive linemen, he has an upgrade. I really didn't know what I wanted to do, but we ultimately decided pass protector is the way to go. Try to make him a little bit more balanced of a pass block or of a blocker in general. So I'm not mad at neither of those upgrades. As for injuries, we did have one major injury, Jabril Peppers. He is out for seven weeks, broken collarbone. So next man up again. He has been hurt this season already. He is going to be hurt again, and really, he may be a candidate for injured reserve. I haven't done the math to see if he'll even be back if we somehow made the Super Bowl, but he might be an injured reserve candidate, man. So, going to the next week, like I said, we have now won the division, but we are in first place. The Jets, Bills right behind us. We play the Jets next week, so that could very well be for the division, and we're still in a very good spot to try to take home a wild card berth. But that is going to be everything for this episode as usual. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please do me a huge favor. Go ahead and leave this video a like, man. It definitely helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's D. Lloyd. I'm going to see you next time. Peace.